Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have selected a SmartArt graphic within your presentation, you can use the commands found on the Design and Format tabs of the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to make editing changes to your selected graphic. Let's review the functions found in these two tabs and how they can assist you in manipulating and formatting your SmartArt. On the Design tab of the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab, you will find the Create Graphic group at the left end. You can use these command buttons to add more shapes to your selected SmartArt. If you select a shape in your SmartArt graphic, you can then click the Add Shape drop-down button to add another shape to the graphic. Your choices of shape position relative to the selected shape will be shown in the button's drop-down menu. Simply select where you want to add another shape from the choices available. Now if your graphic supports bullet points, you can click the Add Bullet button to add a new bullet point into your bulleted list. If you want to change the placement of a selected shape, you can click the Right to Left button to toggle the placement of the shape between the right and left sides of the graphic. This will invert the order of shapes placed into the same hierarchical level in some types of graphics. Also if available, you can click the Layout drop-down button to select a new layout for hierarchical charts. Also, if using a graphic that contains bullet points, you can use the Promote and Demote buttons to increase or decrease the visual importance of a selected bullet point. Clicking the Text Pane button will toggle the display of the text pane that is associated with the graphic on or off. In the Layouts group on the Design tab of the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab, you can click on a layout style to apply it to your selected graphic. Note that you can hold your mouse button over the choices available to preview how they would appear in the slide. In the SmartArt Styles group on the Design tab, you can click the Change Color drop-down button to select a new color for your selected SmartArt graphic. You can then click on any style shown in the adjacent listing of SmartArt styles to apply the style to your selected SmartArt. Now at the far right end of the Design tab, note that you can click the Reset Graphic button in the Reset group to reset the appearance of the SmartArt to the way it initially appeared when you inserted it into your presentation slide. Note that this only resets the appearance of the SmartArt and will not remove any text that you have entered. You can click the Format tab in the SmartArt Tools Contextual tab to change the appearance of your selected SmartArt graphic. At the far left end of the Format tab, you can use the buttons in the Shapes section to alter the appearance of the shapes used in your SmartArt graphic. If you applied a 3D style to your SmartArt, but wish to edit its contents in a 2D view, you can click the Edit in 2D toggle button to switch your SmartArt to a 2D view for editing. You can then click the same button again when finished editing to revert its appearance back to 3D. If you have a shape within the SmartArt selected, you can click the Change Shape drop-down to select a different shape to use. Note you can also click the Larger and smaller buttons to increase or decrease the size of the selected shape. You can use the Shape Styles group to apply a desired preset style to a selected shape. We'll cover all of these options when we discuss using shapes in Chapter 11 of the Advanced PowerPoint Manual. Now likewise, you can change the appearance of text within a shape 
by selecting a preset style to apply from the Word Art Styles group. The Arrange and Size groups contain the same options that you have for arranging and resizing clip art, so these buttons should seem familiar. You can use them to format the selected shapes in SmartArt, just as you would for clip art. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.